Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is just a quick technique video that was shared with me um, by a team member, um, Lee uh, from Menor, Ohio. Lee is great for her technique classes, and this is one of her techniques. She called it faux stainless steel because what she did was use the black memento um, ink pad to cover the foil paper from um, the Aldum Gilded Designer Series paper and it looked like um, stainless steel on the back because the ink um, resisted where the foil was. But what I am going to do is I am going to use different colors and do a resist um, with this foil. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use my Just Jade my Cajun Craze, and my Crush Curry. And what I have is um, daubers in each one of the colors. So what I'm going to do first, I think I'm going to take my Crush Curry first, and I'm just going to first bring in just a scrap piece of paper because I want to take my dauber and start off my paper. And I'm just going to work it in a random sponging. And what is happening is that it is resisting where the foil is. So now I'm gonna take my dauber and I'm gonna go in with my Just Jade. Again, starting off of my paper because I don't want it to be too bold. And then I think I'm gonna go in and grab my Crush Curry. And again, starting off the paper and adding that crushed curry. Now I can go in and maybe add some over the Just Jade and yellow to give it a softer look. If you find that it has, your ink has covered over um, your foil, all you need to do is a grab a tissue or paper towel and you're just going to rub over that and that foil just pops right out of there. Isn't that just beautiful? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a piece of the Brush Metallic cardstock. The Designer Series paper measures two inches by four and three quarter. The Polished Metallic is two and a quarter by five. We're going to add that. And I'm going to go in here and grab that yellow again. I'm going to soften that green up a little bit. We've got that. I'm going to take a five and a half by eight and a half, just shade. I see that's not put on even so let's go ahead and remove that see if I can get it straight so I took that five and a half by eight and a half just jade and folded it in half to form my card now we are going to add this layer isn't that so pretty I just love that metallic look going to grab this is from the beautiful autumn stamp set it says my heart is grateful for you I think I'm going to grab my piercing mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set and I want to get good coverage And now we want to add some bling to our card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. This is from the Forever Greenery Trim Pack. And I've got the gold cord cording. And I am just going to go in and tie a square knot. Now this cording is very fine, but the cool thing is it's braided and you can unbraid and I see I didn't tie that tight enough 
Let's see if we, oh, it's really off. So let me go ahead, let's cut that and go ahead and tie another knot. And what I'm going to do, here's a secret, when you're using those uh, fine cordings, if I put a glue dot down, then that will hold that side in place so that I will be able to tie my square knot this and tie my square knot. Now I am going to add the acorn trinket so it will cover over that blue dot. Well, I'm all thumbs here. Let's try this again. Right over left left over right and I see that the braiding has started to come apart with this card or with this ribbon but that's fine because that's what I want it to do is to untwist that to get a fraying and then I'm going to grab I have taken the metallic ribbon. This is from the woven um, combo and I have tied a bow with that. I'm going to add another glue dot and I have that acorn trivet. So I'm just going to go in or trinket rather and I'm going to add that to my card. Pull that And there you have a fun accent card. I think I'm going to trim those metallics a little bit. But just a fun card using a fun technique and some accessories. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.